Hi YouTube, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the AFMAT Art Manual Pencil Sharpener. It's the MS8019-1. It is a hand crank pencil sharpener, which I haven't done one in quite some time. And I'm really looking forward to reviewing this for you guys. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the box, see if there's anything interesting to look at here. We've already seen the front here. There's a picture of it right there. There's a little description of what it is. And of course, I got some blah, blah, blah there. And some more uh, blah, blah, blah. There's the part number for you right there. And that's about it. And it's sent to me by the folks over at AFMAT, which I've done several of their products and have been very impressed with them. And so I continue to accept their products for review because I'm happy with them. I think I kind of said that, didn't I? Yeah, I said that. All right. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this thing and quit wasting so much time, Rex. I'm talking to myself. All right. So here I'm going to use my patented super duper box opener. Okay. So that's not really a big deal name for it. It's really an X-Acto knife, but we're not doing a review on X-Acto knives. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this puppy open and let's open her up. Let's find out what's inside. Let's not waste any time. Okay. It's wrapped in plastic, allows you to pull it all out. So let's pull it all out. And I'm going to get rid of these instructions because I know they're worthless. And you're going to watch this video to understand exactly how to use this thing because, well, you're going to get more instruction from the video than from that little piece of paper. Trust me on it. I have already gone through this and I know and I'm looking out for you guys. I really am. All right. Well, I don't need this box anymore unless I'm going to store this, which, which I might. But anyway, I'll get rid of it. Okay, it's gone. Now there's this little bag right here. It's got this little L pin. All right, who out there wants to guess what that pin is for? Huh? Hey, you, over there, what's the pin for? It's to extract broken lead. Good job. All right, you win. Nothing. I don't have anything to give you. Sorry, but hey, try again next time. Nice guy. Okay, so anyway, that's what it's for. He was right. And here's the pencil sharpener. Let's unravel it. Take a very close look at it. Become intimately knowledgeable of this device. As you can see, it says in the front, AFMAT. You can see on the side, rounded edge. Rounded edge again. Comes down this side. Everything looks pretty good. You can see it's made of plastic. Very lightweight. It's got a kind of a, I guess this is a, a slight anti-slip matting. If I was to compare it to that, yes, absolutely. It does restrict the sliding, so that's okay. Pretty good, huh? And let's take a look at the crank. Here's the crank. This is how you sharpen. You turn clockwise. Notice it has two adjustments. We have pointy and not so pointy, which is also known as blunt. And you set that with this little dial. Right now, it's pointing on pointy. Get it? Pointing on pointy. <laughs> okay. And then you come over here and it's, you can feel it click. Click, 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 click. So that tells me that you can go to blunt or to point or some degree in between. So anyway, you can hear that, right? I hope you can. Anyway, I like pointy, sharp, so that's where I'm going to put it. Okay. Feels pretty good. 
Of course, you can take the whole unit apart right here. It's got a heli helical blade, which I happen to like the best, is these helical blades rather than those plastic, goofy, like, hand type that they glue to a stick and then turn it on a motor. Those are kind of silly. And I have reviewed those. But anyway, so you put this back in, and then you tussle with it for like hours on end. No, it's just because I don't know what I'm doing. Let me just find the opening. There we go. And you just tighten it. Just like that. Real simple. Okay. And it looks like it would accept uh, some different sizes here. We'll, we'll see what it can do. I think it's just geared for like up to 8 millimeter. But we'll try to see what we can shove down this throat and go from there. Okay. Now you can see that you have a clear view window in the back. And you have a clear view in the front. What's the back for? Well, it's so you can stick your finger through there and push it out. Just like that. Push it in, push it out. Now, here's another neat little thing that comes with this sharpener. That I thought was really trippy dippy. And that is, it's got this rough sandpaper thing. What in the world do you want to use sandpaper for? I will show you after I sharpen a pencil, but not until then. So you'll have to be patient. All right, so let's go ahead and slide this puppy in. Now here's how this thing works, which I think is really, really cool. Before I tell you how it works, let me explain something really quick. This does not come with a mount to your desk. You can buy them for as low as two bucks. I did a search and you can buy them like for the, the Carl sharpener or, or one of those other sharpeners that are hand cranks and they're two bucks. So if you want one, because um, I got a couple and I use them here. Um, you can get one and you can stick it in here and then it'll clamp underneath the desk and you tighten it and then you can just, you know, put your pencil in and sharpen and then it'll stay on the desk. Okay, that's like how I got my sharpener here on the desk over there. Okay, the Mitsubishi KH20, which we can talk about in a moment. Anyway, you don't really need to mount it though because this thing here interestingly enough, does something that I thought was pretty darn cool. Now, with a lot of the hand crank sharpeners, of course, you have a mechanism, and the mechanism pulls out to like here. Matter of fact, let me just show you that real quick, just in case you're not familiar with that. Here is my Mitsubishi KH20. This is currently my most favorite hand crank pencil sharpener because it does super long points. And that's the kind of points I like for my drawing and writing are the really long points. So this makes the longest point that I found so far of all the hand cranked sharpeners. I have an electric sharpener from Afmat that does long points that I've showed before. Here it is. See, I use it a lot. It's pretty cool. It does long points. It's electric. But this is the longest point hand crank. All right. And... The Cume Masterpiece is like one of the longest point manual sharpeners. So there's your three different areas for the longest points. But with this, what you do is you, you stick it out like that. You squeeze this. You stick the pencil in here. And then as you turn this crank, it will slowly pull the pencil in because it's, it's gripping it here. And it's got this spring action so that as it sharpens, it pushes it in. Okay, now hold that thought, because with this sharpener, this is what blows my mind. And yes, I have already tried this puppy out once before. Here's, here's a sharp, uh, unsharpened pencil, right? Doesn't have a tip. Now check this out. This is cool. You insert pencil. That's the instructions. Insert pencil all the way in until it stops, okay? It can't go in anymore. It's all the way in. Now. You don't hold the pencil. Leave it alone. Hold the sharpener on the table and use your other hand. And that one there, you just let it sit there, singing its song, doing whatever it wants, and now start to sharpen. It's pulling the pencil in. Can you see? Look at that right there. Watch it. It's just sucking that pencil right in there. And you keep doing this until you get to this point where, look, there's... It's now it's free. It's it's like there's no resistance, right? Okay. Now when you're done, because you, you can see it's not sharpening anymore, just turn this counterclockwise and then pull this out. 
That's all you got to do. Now I want you people to see something that is just going to make your jaws drop, but make sure you got a pillow down there to catch it. So because if it slams on the ground, your jaw is going to hurt for days on end, and that's no fun. All right, check this out. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at that long point! Wow. That is amazing. Do I sound a little excited? I am excited. Okay, now let me, let me give you something to compare it to. So I'm going to gently put this here so you can see that I don't move it off the screen. Stay, boy. All right, so you know I'm not going to do a switcheroo on you. And I'm going to use the same pencil, one of these Thai Condorogas. See, it's unsharpened. And now, here is the star up to now, the Mitsubishi KH20, which will cost you an arm and a leg and a couple other things. Now, here's what I was telling you. See, it grips and the spring will pull it in. Now watch this, okay? Does its thing and it's set. It's set to maximum by the maximum point because that's the only kind of points I use. I don't see the point in doing What's that point word? That's too much point word. Anyway, I don't see why uh, I would want to do blunt, to be blunt. All right, and the same thing here, you know, you have no resistance, you're all done, but in this case here, you squeeze it and you pull it. Now I'm gonna leave it right here for a second. Okay, now see, that was the longest point up to now. This was awesome. This was a nice, super long point, and I really do like this long point. But let's bring this back into reality, folks. Look at the difference. Are you freaking kidding are me? Are you kidding me? What are these people at AFMAT smoking? Wow. I mean, check this out. That is just amazing. I can't get over myself. No, I can get over myself. I can't get over this sharpener. Look. I know I do a lot of their stuff, but there's a reason for that. As an artist, or someone who's pretending to be an artist if you like, I don't care. I got no eagle to protect. This is a really, really cool manual crank pencil sharpener. Look at the size of that monster. That is amazing. God, I mean, seriously. Now, let me show you what that sandpaper is for. You pull this out, just like this, okay? And you can take your little tip here, for example, and you can wear it out one side. Now what I like to do, for example, is I like to get a 95, uh, I mean, excuse me, a 45 degree angle on that. And let me see if I can get that to zoom in. You see that, How, what I did with that point? I put a 45 degree uh, flat head on there because it makes it really nice when you're drawing and I, when I'm doing, you know, skin and stuff, is to have the flat part of the pencil rather than the point. And it just gives me much more control for drawing on my hand. Yeah, because like drawing on the hand is a thing. Oh, brother Ricks. Come on, see, I'm talking to myself again. This is why this is called an art manual pencil sharpener, because it's for artists. And so now you have this little pad here, and if you have charcoal pencils, well, you know how we like to give the charcoal pencil an additional point. Maybe you want to sharpen your point. And that's another thing, too. Now, I just showed you about that 45-degree angle because a lot of artists, they like to do that, and I do that from time to time as well. Put a flat head on, on my tip. But another thing, too, is as you wear your pencil down, rather than continually sharpen it, because you've got a lot of lead here, is that if you get it too dull, just take your thing and give it a point. Just come in here and sharpen up that point and keep writing. Sharpen the point. Keep writing. Sharpen the point. Keep writing. Sh okay, you get the point. There's that point word again. Ah, I don't know how to escape it. We got to come up with a new word for point. I don't know. I'll leave it to you to come up with an idea. So, that's it. Boys and girls, the AFMAT art 
manual, hand crank, pencil sharpener. Totally, Ricks can do it approved. This is awesome and it moves and it really makes a super long point and it has a nice little tip modifier sandpaper thing built right in. And of course, you can go from blunt to pointy if you like. That's all up to you. Now remember, you can go buy one of these for two bucks if you wanna clamp it to your table. Otherwise, you can just simply put your two fingers here and turn it and that pencil will go in all by itself. Well, I certainly hope that you like this video. If so, please give me that thumbs up because it really makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you in the next video. I'm running out of gas here. I gotta go. Where's my coffee? Are you freaking kidding me?